Yeah, late, usually mid-March, late February is when the fishing season starts for me. Yeah, my favorite, really my favorite species to fish for is actually bluegill or brim. We call them brim down here. But I take those brim and I cut them and fillet them and use them for catfish bait. The way I catch my brim is by starting a black soldier fly bin. Moonshine or bluegill bait? What's the difference? <laughs> Black soldier flies are a non-pest type fly that they eat leaves and things. The, the larvae do. So you're basically fishing with maggots. You start with 50 pound bag of uh, feed wheat, or you can, you can use corn, you can use rice, you can use what, you can use any kind of seed. You can even use beans and peas and stuff. Fill up a container with water. I always put a little active dry yeast in and you just take a, about a cup, about a uh, teaspoon of active dry yeast, put in a, just a dash of sugar and put just some tap water in and just let it sit for about 10 minutes. You know? And then you dump it in your, in your bucket of water outside, stir it up a little, and then dump in your wheat. Make sure there's a couple of inches of water over the wheat kind of stir it up and you just let it sit. <laughs> you just let it sit. For those of you who ever know about moonshine, I've never made it, but it's exactly the same process as starting a mash. But we're not making moonshine, we're making bait. As soon as this stuff gasses off, it'll start bubbling. Oh, come in here tomorrow, it'll be bubbling up and everything. And once it stops bubbling off, we drain all the water off and then the Black soldier flies will find it and they'll start nesting in it. They'll start feeding in the, the... The black soldier flies don't eat. They can't eat. They don't have a mouth. They, they literally live long enough to breed and make a new generation and then they, then they die. But the little maggots, boy, they eat. <laughs> and once you drain off that, it'll be the perfect bedding for them. Then I'll just put a cane pole with the maggots on, probably unweighted with two hooks and just catch bluegill like that. Then I chop up my bluegill, use those for the bait for my, my catfish, and that's that's how I that's how I do it. <laughs>